Okay, that means New York City, the powerhouse, the economic uh, capital of the world, is a stressed city. Oh, get this. It says jobs are the biggest challenge in New York Shop. City area. Oh, really? You think with all the, the, the these uh, luxury apartments and condos that they're building all over the country, all over the city, that they get enough jobs uh, so that the job will be issued. I just read someplace that said Brooklyn. Crazy. Uh, Brooklyn is the second uh, highest real estate in the entire nation, next to Manhattan. So San Francisco got leapfrog. Now we've been living in Brooklyn for years, yes. but it was never because we were the most expensive place to live. No, it's because we felt we had the most culture and diversity and yes. just, you know stuff like that. And we would everybody's ass. Oh, you gotta get a city fight. If we don't fuck around, we house fools. <laughs> house of food. But now apparently we are and, and again this is not this is not a lot. Uh, gentrification is running wild in Brooklyn right now. There's a street in Crown Heights called Franklin Avenue. Jesus Christ. Which was, <laughs> yo, that's, a, that's what you would say if you were running down Franklin Avenue because you had to run down Franklin Avenue because the mass of speed was hot on your ass. The fucking Edisfield projects where I got jacked for my bike. I had a yellow Savoy 10 speed. I got jacked at 12 years old at gunpoint. At gunpoint. 12 years old for a 10 speed bike on Franklin Avenue. They didn't fuck around. Literally, scar-faced dudes right out of jail didn't go down Franklin Avenue. I mean, but, but now, holy smokes, man. It looks like the Magic Garden over there. The whites are just skipping and snapping. I saw a bunny on the fucking corner. The other day, man, two of backflips. Was, was, was he helping the old leper guy across the street? Yeah, man, she was crazy. Literally, it's the most amazing Turnaround, which basically, you know, we can make fun of the jokes about how, oh, you know, the neighborhood is changed over. But what that basically means is rent is going through the roof, and the people that want to, I wouldn't say unfortunate enough, the people that lived there and could afford to live there, you know, the people that walked around with Kevlar vests on and shit, like, I'm going to that other shit because that was the only place they could afford to live. Oh, well, they got to get the fuck out. You know, they, they, they got to The projects that I said I got ripped off in front of, they started to do things to deregulate the change the zoning. So now the people that had to live in the projects can't live there anymore because of the difficulty. But yet, like you said, we're distressed. Yeah. We're distressed. You know why? Because most of the people that still live here can't afford to live here. No. That they don't have that. We just talked about moving over to the station today. Cats getting laid off and left by right that set. You know, yet Brooklyn has a skyline now. Brooklyn has a skyline now because they are constantly building high rise apartments downtown. Of course, why? Because the Nets are coming to town. Thanks, Jigger Man. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, yeah. What are you doing for all the people that got kicked out of, of, of my, 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 um, my drummer? They were trying to, you know, bring him his mom out of the house. You're an eminent domain. Yeah, eminent domain. You know, um, yeah. so this is, uh, it's almost like, uh, um, uh, I forgot. There's, you know, at one, at, on, on, on one hand, you know, there's parts of, of Brooklyn that's, that's skyrocketing in, in Oxymoron. Thank you very much. Uh, parts of Brooklyn skyrocketing with uh, new housing and uh, high rise apartments, you know, for the real estate value of apartments. Oh, yeah, well, you know, well, one, one bedroom is looking at those for $1,900. But we're distressed. Yeah. We are distressed. Basically, what's going to happen is all the poor minorities are going to turn into a fucking Rudy Eugene and start fighting the people. <laughs> fighting the people in the high rise. Uh, That's what's going to happen. Uh, yeah. Uh, I need to show you. I'm showing all these people where I'm, um, you know, racing the entrance. The uh, home over there. Right? <laughs> Used to rock the room where it was fucked up and kissed my ass. Um, anyway, we're going to switch now because I heard about something that was very interesting, I found. Um, yeah, I found this interesting too, just that one line. Uh, <laughs> that one line was very interesting. Um, New York now um, is one of the states, and apparently this is spreading across the country, so I'm sure. You cannot be sued anymore for libel for calling someone gay. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, they, they mentioned Tom Cruise one 
Meltdown lawsuit because they're calling him gay because uh, the defamation of the character. Right. And she destroyed his body because since he's a ladies man. Exactly. It so can impair his uh, ability to portray himself as a ladies man. Yeah. Uh, heterosexual, straight. Yeah. Um, I'm not single, but just, just a heterosexual. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Heterosexual. Yeah. So yeah. he had he had, he had grievances and that. Yeah. Okay. I can understand that. But now um, he would lose that case. If they came to the. Uh, Apparently, they believe, and I think there is definitely definite credence to this, that uh, because of the further, uh, of the evolving acceptance of homosexuality, homosexual lifestyle, homosexual coupling, uh, thanks to Solberg number one, and his you know, begrudged uh, uh, decision to allow uh, the good thumbs of the same sex marriage, uh, to uh, allow uh, gays to uh, serve openly, openly in the military, which right. just proves that, you know. Gay cats aren't as, as smart as smart as anybody else who could have served in the military. Um, <laughs> right. Um, so apparently it's not a disparaging remark anymore to be called gay. And when I read that, yeah. you know, it, it I mean I knew I mean get to the shit that I want to talk about. Well, they say that, you know, um, it's no longer uh, something that you can be charged with as a crime, like calling a white man black. That was something that you could be uh, sued for. You could be sued for. You'd be liable. I was. I was. You could be taken to court for a call of a white man black. And they said this was as recent as a generation. A generation ago. Again, I, 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 this. You know, I was like, what you said? What you said? What you know, obviously me, I'm thinking, well, wait a second, what happens if you call a black man white? And he was like, oh, well, then that's like a compliment or something. I guess they sort of... And, and they didn't say that, but I'm just saying, you know, the logical flip of one statement would be, of the first thing would be the second statement. What the fuck? So you call a white guy, you know, man, so why do you say black? What are you saying? What, you got like a black heart? You're fucking black guard. You're like, yo, you're acting like a black man right now. So that's, that's, whatever the fuck that means. You know, I guess the dude was dressed further, you like a white trying to dress like, dress like a black dude. That is something that can get you fucking, I mean, now, <coughs> that's a mistake completely offensive. As we discussed uh, last night about this, this topic, um, it is a different thing when you call uh, a black man, when a black man calls another black man white. Oh, yeah, that's an insult. That's an insult because they're trying to get you. You know, they're trying to, you know, they're trying to call you like Carlton from the French, but it's something like that. Tom, yeah. Tom or Sal, da da da. Yeah. But apparently, and I'm pretty sure that this is true in most of the white world, if you're, um, yeah, if a white man says, well, you're white, I didn't even know that you were black, I thought you were white. Ding, 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 ding. What, is what, is what if the dude was dancing? Well, who's dancing poorly, <laughs> then you would be considered for a man. But I'm saying, what if this yeah. was something, guys, so no, the white dude was so like, get down and do all this shit. They were like, yo, you dance like a black guy. All of a sudden, he would be an anomaly or he would be Christ. <laughs> that anomaly of the Christ, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, that was, I mean, that, the whole game, yeah. because I never read, because I, I said it before I read that part, I said to myself, I was like, wow, I don't really care about that. Yeah, I mean, again, we are, you know, black dudes, you know, in a certain age group, you know, we call, we, we slander ourselves. You know, try to explain ourselves. Yeah, you know, you know, masturbate yourself on yeah, every day. Yeah, yeah, it's my thing. All sorts of shit. To the point where even the NBA had to um, put out a little uh, yeah, service yeah. novel with Grant Hill saying that, you know, gay being synonymous with whack or uncool, you know, um, it's not it's, you know, it's not fashion because, you know, a, a guy uh, was like, oh man, your moves on the court are just gay. And it's like, you know, gay meaning negative or anything like that. You know, we got to abolish that. No, but like you said, you know, when you're when you're insulting somebody, you you're not trying to compliment them. Obviously, you're trying to insult them. So you say whatever you think might be dumb offensive. But and mind you, I'm sorry, no, right. they make it clear that this is not going to update, you know, bigotry towards gay people in the country. But even the the, the gay representative said that this was they consider this somewhat of a mild victory. And I agree. I, I, I agree. agree. Sure. Right. Because I was thinking, you know, because it never occurred to me until I read that, like, you know, you're a black man. Oh shit, no! You know, never, never, you know, never entered my mind. But if you say, yeah, you're a gang, you sweep their guy, yeah. we all know that's a disc Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I never actually saw someone at the disco dance. Yes, sir. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> 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 I'm 
Jay, what the fuck? Listen, um, did you guys hear about the uh, Green Lantern? Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, you know, I, you know because, but see, you know, once again, I said there was so many different things that However, we stop. Have a time. We need to take a quick break. When we write back, we will definitely pick up on this because I'm interested in this topic. All right. Back in two, please.